Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to a video that you might be thinking, what? Why is she doing this planning video in September? But stick with me here, guys. Alexa, how many weeks until Christmas? 14 weeks, guys. 14 weeks. We'll be here before we know it. I mean, let's look back to, I don't know, when we came out of lockdown. Feels like just the other day, and yet here we are, like months and months later. So for me, planning for Christmas is essential if you want to save money on Christmas, spread the costs on Christmas, just financially find it a lot easier. So I'm gonna be sharing, and I have got six pages of notes here to share with you guys because I really want to help you if you're looking to get organized for Christmas this year, not get into debt into debt, and just feel a little bit on it and ready. And there's gonna be some things in here that you may not know about. So we're gonna be talking about shortages and panic buying and the at the moment some things that are going on that you need to factor into your plans. And mainly Last year, for us in here in England, I don't know about every other country, but we were in lockdown for most of it. We could have one day where we could see our friends and family at Christmas, which actually makes you quite emotional thinking about it because what the heck? Like, how? We, we were told we aren't allowed to see our family and friends at Christmas. My mind is blown that that even happened and that we were like, okay. Obviously, we didn't like it, but we did it and yeah how this anyway so this year is going to be hopefully extra special that we will be able to see friends and family and there won't be as many restraints like that so let's make it a really good one and that doesn't mean blowing the bank so i'm going to share loads of money saving tips as always i've got you and lots of organization tips so grab a cuppa get a pen and paper there's going to be some tips at the end so keep on watching so i'm going to give you some kind of like bullet points to take away from this video and yeah, let's get cozy. I've got my candles on, my winter um, candle, it's called Sweater Weather. And yeah, let's get into the video. The turmeric active, which is a puck of tea, and I've been drinking this a lot because I'm not drinking caffeine or coffee decaf anymore because everything that I enjoy is slowly being stripped from my life because of my stomach issues. But anyway, alas. I wanna really firstly start by saying this video is not meant to make you feel overwhelmed, disorganized, like you should be doing all the things. Uh, I felt very similar when it, the 1st of September, bear in mind we were still in the summer holidays, the whole of my feed on various platforms was full of like autumn content and like proper autumnal stuff. And I was like, hold on, my children don't go back to school for a week. What's going on? I need to like decompress from summer. So yeah, don't come away. I hope you don't come away from this video feeling very, very, very overwhelmed. This is to help you get on the front foot. And even if you're not gonna start your planning until November, late November, that's okay, whatever works for you. But hopefully there's gonna be loads of takeaways from this video to help you get in the right kind of frame of mind to have a really good Christmas. Obviously I know people can find Christmas difficult and you may well have lost people over the last few years, which is obviously really, really sad. But hopefully if you are able to celebrate and you do celebrate, then this is gonna be something that's gonna be informative for you. Now, one of the big things we need to think about this Christmas, which has never ever happened before in my lifetime certainly, is that we are facing a huge supply chain issue so there are shortages on everything at the moment and we need to factor that into our planning because if you are a last minuter which i used to be and i have to say stuart has changed me he is so organized he i'll get onto that but he has definitely instilled this in me which is great and it is about getting organized soon because for example we can't get hold of things at the moment. Have you been to the supermarkets recently? I'm gonna do a video soon showing you what they're like at the moment because they're stripped bare. We have lost something like 60,000 HGV drivers, delivery drivers from Europe because of what's going on with the old Brexit. So we aren't, we don't wanna to get to the point in De December where you wanna buy your Christmas presents and you wanna buy your turkey and nothing is available. So that's why we're gonna get on the front foot here. So it's not like ever before, we, aren't, we haven't really dealt with these issues before. Obviously last year was different. We couldn't see friends and family, but we could get food. This year we can see friends and family. Whether we're gonna be able to get the food and the supplies and the presents, 
we will see. So I don't usually say to you, grab it, just impulse purchase, because that's obviously not my way anymore, and I'm much more intentional, but if you can write your list now, and we'll get onto lists, and you actually know that you will need these things come December the 25th, then you see it on offer, grab it, because you may not get that chance again later on in the, in the year. So obviously don't scattergun buy everything, but if you need these things and you know you want them, then make sure you get it when you see it because it, it just might not be available when you later on. So there's several planning documents over on my website, which is laradjanajarvis.com, and I will leave a link for you below so you can go and find those if you like. And I've got budgeting planning sheets, it's all free for you guys, but there's also Christmas planning sheets. So these are ones where it's gonna give you lists for presents you want to buy, food you need to get, any budget that you want to do for Christmas, whether that's food, transportation costs, entertaining costs, going out, events, craft nights there's lots of different things it's not just a present so you need to make sure you've kind of like got that in your whole budget toys presents food wrapping paper loads of different things that you need to be writing down on your list so take a moment think about what was you know what you bought last year think about things that might be missing from last year and just get these written down so that you've got a basis of where to start when you are ready to start buying the average brit spends 1100 pounds on christmas and the average american a thousand dollars so these are a lot of money to spend in one go so you may well be christmas eve with the money buying all the things but it's just not sustainable for so many people. So to do it now, you're spreading out the cost. You can work out you've got three paychecks left, or if you're weekly pay, you've got 14 paychecks left until the big day. So each time you do your food shopping, chuck a packet of mince pies in, although my husband has already started eating the mince pies. He is a huge mince pie fan. And let me know if you want like a mince pie review of all the mince pies, because he is a connoisseur. I don't even like them. But last year he had some and they were really good. So I may even be a little bit of a convert if it's the right mince pie. But add these things to your trolley. If they don't go off before the end of December, then add them in and then slowly but surely you'll be adding to your Christmas supply and you're not going to need to do it all in one go and have a really expensive shop. Then write to yourself an inventory. So what we need to do is make sure that you aren't double buying things. So if you bought a really nice wreath last year, you probably don't need to buy another one this year. And if you bought a Christmas tree last year, but you were missing something, it just didn't have quite what you wanted, add that to your list. So you're not buying overly extra of what you don't need, but you are buying things that you felt like you might be missing. For us with Christmas decorations, we don't change up the theme every year. It's very expensive to do that. You may want to do that, that's absolutely fine, but I'll get onto some tips and hacks how to do it on a budget if you do want to change up your theming. But you may be entertaining this year whereas you've never done it before. You may be going to someone's house, else's house, whereas you usually entertain. So these things will dictate to you what you do need to buy. So if you're entertaining this year and you've never done it before and you live with your partner or your friend, chances are you may not have enough cutlery, crockery, tableware, glassware for all of your guests. So is it time that you actually need to maybe think about buying some new things or thrifting for some new things? Because you may not actually have enough if it comes to it. Or you may have broken your favorite crockery set and you like to have a fancy crockery set for Christmas. That's absolutely fine, you know, be best, as they say, save your best for Christmas. So think about these things that you don't already have in your cupboards and that you might need to stock up for before the big day. Guys, if you're getting value from this video and you're enjoying it, please do give it a like because it really, really helps me out and I'd love to see you here as a subscriber if you're not already subscribed to my channel. I upload three times a week and I just love sharing videos to help you live your best life on a budget and help you guys get organised and save lots of money on the things that you do want to buy. So I'd really love to have you here in this community. And while you're at it, if you want to, there's a Facebook group, Budget Best Life. You're welcome to come and join that. That is free to join and we share loads of inspirational ideas and uplifting posts for people that have kind of got through money worries or that might need help with money worries we're here for you so yeah come and join that as well if you like so as i said decorations if you want to update your theming but you don't want to spend a fortune there's different ways you can do it so for example if you had a wreath last year and you went for like a gold theme but you want maybe a silver theme just change up the ribbons or uh add in little baubles that would be the new theme color 
or if you had a Christmas tree that was a plain Christmas tree, artificial, and you want to have it more of a kind of snow kissed, why don't you just get some flocking spray and spray it? It's so affordable and it gives your tree a completely different look as it would have had last year. That's really cold now. <laughs> I try not to play with my hair, but I got really rained on in the school run this morning, so it's a little bit worse for wear. So, entertaining. Now, last year, obviously, as I said, was a complete write-off here in the UK. We really didn't get to do very much at all. And for me, Christmas isn't the day. It is the lead-up. It's the whole month, because otherwise it's kind of like all this prep for one day and then it's over. So, for me, we really like to get the excitement brewing and go and do a few like Christmassy events in the lead up. So for us, we will always do a Santa visit and we found a really, really brilliant one last year, I think it was, which we managed to do because of our county, we could do it. It was open, but so many were closed. So we will probably book that again this year. That was fantastic. Um, but for things like entertaining, you know, having friends over for drinks and nibbles, a few sausage rolls, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, or booking yourself a crafting evening, wreath making, going for mulled wine, I just get so excited about these Christmassy events, it's just like the magic that builds within, for especially for grown-ups, because obviously on the day it's much more for the children and it's so magical to see it through their eyes, but for, you know, the lead up, we can do these things, we can have people over craft nights, anything that makes you happy, make sure you're getting it booked up and budgeted for. And if you can't afford to go to anything, then invite your friends over to you, tell them to bring a bottle, literally get some puff pastry, some sausage meat and some cranberry sauce, make some little sausage rolls. And it's a really lovely evening with friends, but on a really small budget, but it means you get to get into the Christmas spirit. Or if you don't have friends to come over, maybe go caroling or to a Christmas service at a church or there's community projects on as well. So there's lots of things to do. Check out local Facebook groups or check out online, you know, just Google Christmas events near me. And there's lots of different events that you can add to your calendar and just get yourself in the festive spirit. Okay, so for food, and let me know if you guys would like a Christmas meal plan video nearer the time, I'm happy to make that for you. But if you're a meat eater, think about maybe preparing some things in advance, like you wanna maybe book your turkey, because like I said, there might be some shortages coming up that we won't be able to get hold of things like that. So just try and be aware of these things, even if you're not ready to book a turkey you know, but booking, just make sure you are aware that you may need to give a bit of extra time to get that organized. Make some food in advance. So I've done this before, talking about making sausage rolls, mince pies, your sauces, cranberry sauce. These can be made in advance so you're then not rushing around when you want to be enjoying yourself near a Christmas making food. I love the actual like process of making food. I find it a really nice festive thing to do, but you can freeze everything and then it's ready to go when you need it. If you are entertaining and you're hosting this year for Christmas, don't panic, it's just a big roast dinner. You don't need to panic about too much and lots of things you can buy shop bought as well, even down to the gravy, which if you are into cooking, you'll know it's not that difficult to make, but it can feel really overwhelming because of the timings. You have to have everything ready at the same time. So if you can, then you can buy these things pre-made or, you know, I'm not really a big fan of pre-chopped veg because it never tastes the same, but prepare your veg before the day. You don't need to be doing it on Christmas morning when everyone's like trying to enjoy the festive spirit of seeing what Santa's bought and, you know, the fun of it all. You're there chopping carrots up. Do it all the day before. Store it in water overnight in, in the pan on the hob and then it's good to go the next day. Just make it easier for yourself and don't feel too overwhelmed. It's just a big roast dinner. So let's talk gifting for a second. Firstly, put it out there, if you cannot afford to buy for everybody in your family, tell them, be upfront with them. No one is going to think badly of you, of you if you cannot afford to do that. Put it out there and maybe they'll say, oh, thank goodness you said that, I was really worried myself. Should we just do the children? Or, you know, you may just buy for the children in your family or your friends. You might just say, I can't afford to buy for your children this year, sorry. Just it, don't let the financial stress of Christmas bring you down. That's not what it's about. It's about, you know, being with loved ones and just appreciating that time together. And that's what's so special about Christmas. And obviously if you're Christian, the birth of Jesus Christ. <laughs> so in terms of gifting, often nearer the time, you won't get as much choice, stick with me here, because gift sets come out. So you have suddenly a gift set for like someone that loves to, have a bath <laughs> and you actually find that you may have 
less choice. So if you start now, those gift sets aren't on the t on the shelves, and actually you can maybe make your own package up. So I was with my friend the other day, and TK Maxx have got some really good bits, and she was just buying sets of like pillow spray and manicure things, and she's going to break them all down and then put them into her own parcels, which is a fantastic way of doing it. And I've done that before. It's kind of like a beauty box. Uh, but you're making it yourself according to that person, so it's bespoke. But you'll start to see that you you may not actually want to buy the gift sets, but they might not be specific to that person. That person might not like golf or baths, so they want to have something else. So think about something you can start building on now, or just buying items that are in the shops before they all change to like three for two on your gift set. And obviously the bonus of doing it now is that you're spreading out the cost, so you're not paying for it all in the last paycheck of the year, which can be very financially stressful for you. So things like Amazon, dare I say it, I know we like to, you know, but let's be honest, a lot of us do still shop on Amazon. They do a gift list uh, service. So I'll leave a link for you in the description bar for this. This is really, really helpful. So if you have some things, and you can do this throughout the year, you can add it to your wish list, and then you just literally send whoever it is that's buying for you or has said, have you got any ideas for Christmas? You can send them the link to your wish list and then there it all is there for them. And then it's still a surprise because you don't know what they're gonna choose from that list. Sorry, I'm getting pins and needles. It's still a surprise for them, but uh, you, can, you can also add on there notes to say, this but buy it from like an independent retailer or you know it's also available here but it gives them that idea of exactly you know what is on your list uh as i said i'll leave a link for you in the description bar for that one because it's really really handy also really good for if you've got children and you want to send the list to other people uh they can then choose from it let me know if you'd like a video on what we've bought so far so Stu, as i said at the beginning of this video he is just so organized and i love it because he makes me more organized and he he has bought quite a few gifts already for the children because he's seen them on amazing deals. He got a Lego set the other day. He was like, it was ginormous, about that big. And it was something like 30 pounds down from 80 pounds. So it will go back up again by Christmas. But because he bought it in August, it was so much more affordable. So let me know if you want a little sneak peek of kind of like what we've bought for the children or what we've bought for people for Christmas in the sale give you an idea of the sorts of things that you can maybe buy affordably as well. So we do a stocking and a Christmas Eve box. Obviously Santa does a stocking and we'll do the Christmas Eve box. And not everyone does Christmas Eve boxes, absolutely fine. Not everyone does all of this, absolutely fine. It's whatever works for you, but hopefully there's some ideas in here that will help. So with the Christmas Eve box, pajamas, movie, although they're often now just on the TV, so we used to do a DVD a book to read, a hot chocolate. In fact, I've done a whole video for Christmas Eve box ideas. I'll link it for you in the description bar and I might do another one for this year. But really, really nice just to kind of like have us like that Christmas Eve together. We always spend it as a family and we just try and have a little bit of a moment together before the madness. We watch a movie, have a movie night and it's just lovely. Really, really nice special time for us. But again, it might not be something you wanna do. You may wanna do, you may wanna have Elf on the Shelf visit. You may wanna have, an elf come and bring just like books at the beginning of advent for one every night something like that whatever works for you it doesn't have to be a set thing so from this you should have quite a good idea of the sorts of things that make up our planning so you do need to be making a good old list you need a list my friends lists are like magic for me they get me organized prepared they don't ha there's no kind of like surprises that come out and it just helps me with my kind of mental clarity and overwhelm as well as I said, I'll leave a link to my website, laurajoanajavis.com for planning printables. But on your list, make sure it's not just your gifts, it's like your food, your entertaining, your, you know, your travel plans, anything that actually makes up your Christmas, your entertain, your um, events or your evening things that you might wanna book in with friends. So you, you need to be on it because the children break up kind of half or three quarters of the way through the month. So a lot of it is them still at school. So you may have to fit it in at weekends, which makes everything quite busy. But try, I like to have every weekend in December free to do Christmassy stuff because I've done all of this planning way beforehand. So that's another peak peak benefit of being organized for Christmas. Working out your priorities is really important here. So if your priority is having really nice events and going out for little Santa visits and things like that, then that's your priority. You may not buy your husband or your wife whatever presents. That's cool. Like, 
don't add that into your budget. That's not your priority. Your priority might be other people in your family or you might have children. Have your list there and then you know exactly what your priorities are for the coming festive season. So I'm probably gonna leave this video here because oh my goodness, it's going on a little bit. I've also got a Christmas to-do list video coming up. I haven't finished planning that video. So if there's anything you'd like me to add to it, please do leave me a note in the comments and I will make sure I add that. Uh, links will be below for anything I've mentioned. Don't forget to like the video if you found it helpful. Share it with your friends if you think they might need some help with planning or just, you know, people that you might think might find it interesting. And do subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. Thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you really, really soon. Take care. Bye. <laughs>